is Janine Waters and I've been the acting coach on the project and we've worked through the beginnings of a drama training really. I've done an introduction to acting so we've looked at the basic rules of improvisation and about accepting and building and being spontaneous and being in the moment and then we've also looked at sort of general character work, how an actor finds and develops a character and then we've looked more specifically at the characters that they were playing. So Mohammed came in with chest pain and then because of the chest pain he was given all kinds of medications to try and reduce the pain. The tests on him were things like an ECG to see what was going on with his heart. He needed CPR because he stopped breathing and then he was brought back to life. My name's Sophie and we're doing adult nursing. And I'm Chris, I'm also doing adult nursing. As we're about to go into simulation, uh, I'm feeling nervous. It's totally different to a placement. This is different to other simulations we've done because normally it's less of a, more of a case study than a simulation. Yeah. This feels more like an actual ship. When people are not used to role play or, or, or anything like that, any kind of improvisation, they're waiting for you to come out of character and smile or laugh. They will, the, mi the minute you do that, that gives them permission to not, not take it serious, obviously. And the more you as the actor are staying absolutely in the moment and, being, and not, not being shaken off of the moment, then I think you can see it on their faces that the smile kind of drops from their eyes and they realise they, they have to get into this and they have to take it seriously. And I did get some genuine looks of, I could feel some genuine concern. Okay. So, are we ready for our next patient, please? Well, we were having a nice time really yeah. in our side room, just having a chat, introducing ourselves and then we come out and there's a cardiac arrest happening. Yeah, which we kind <laughs> of had su suspected they might throw but something yeah, in yeah. like that. Yeah. But you know what, it was good to practice it yeah. because especially for anyone that hasn't had the chance in practice to mm -hmm. do it in real life, it was good to see like getting the crash trolley, doing the defib, because yeah. one thing to practice on just a resuscitation dummy and it's another thing to, to do it on actual yeah, medicine. and also the collaboration with like um, the medical students as well and having other people to report to, yeah. it was, it worked. It yeah. was good. Mm, I, really I feel like it. I got a lot from it. Yeah. I would like to do it again. For us as well as for the students, but I think certainly for the students, I think, um, yeah, this is immersive theatre, absolutely. I think art and health have this fantastic marriage uh, that more and more people are realising. I think the, the, there are so many things that we can be doing together. Uh, this is one example and a fantastic example of um, how real life situations uh, which are scary and dangerous and, and unpredictable can be practiced, can be rehearsed in a safe space uh, where they can feel really real and we can do our job to make them feel really real without the, the, the real risk. <laughs>